Hello and welcome back to Heroes of Magic 2, The Succession Wars. Let's continue the gauntlet and... Off screen I thought to myself, well, what troops do I really want to take with me to the final battle and then to the, uh, to the next scenario? And the answer is all the troops that would be good at attacking enemy towns. Which means troops that can fly and troops that can fire from afar. That means that I want to keep greater druids, I want to keep dragons, obviously. I might want to keep rocks, because 22 rocks is not that small of a feat to get. And... I also want, of course, the dwarves, because they're pretty strong. And I will get some more of them as we go, I guess. So, yeah, so I will have that. I also want to have Grand Elves, obviously. And that's pretty much it. So I basically don't need to focus too much on the other things. But that means that I do want to buy out the Druids and the Grand Elves, also. Another thing I realized is that there's a Silver Mine and I would like to have it. So let's go there. It's hidden behind the Sulfur. <laughs> then another thing... I now have control of the most advanced uh, night town. But the knights don't actually have any flying troops. So as such, from what we can get, it's not actually that useful. Rangers are too slow, pikemen... yeah, they're not flying. So they will get caught up on moats and stuff. And if I go further there, I will just get less useful hero towns. They're already not very useful. So I think I want to go through here and go into wizard towns to get even more rocks. Of course, I'm still going to open this. Because that's pretty important. Um, yeah, I'd like to get the gazebo, but honestly, it takes so much effort to get to the next level that it's probably not really worth it. I doubt I'll be able to get expert wisdom in time anyway. So instead... You can get the gold. It's not that far away. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Get this, and then go all the way back. I think that there's nothing here. Because the dragons are what guard the ends of all the paths. It's especially built like that so that you could uh, you couldn't just go here and then take all the extra towns without effort but I won't actually lose much if I go and attack them so I'm just going to do that hmm advanced wisdom okay I'll take that Actually, I probably want to trade. Yeah, because I don't want him using ranged troops, because that will have the effect of the dragons attacking them. In the meanwhile, I have also a trading post here. That is pretty amazing. So, first of all, I want to get this ancient lamp. 
And I can also get the dwarves from the cottage. Mm, but not in that order. Yeah, let's just go to the cottage. Huh. Never mind. There's nothing in the cottage. Anymore. No, well, okay, that's fine still. So the trading post. I don't actually need to do anything else at the moment. I only need some wood so that I could build the boat and the shipyard. Everything else I don't really need, so I can trade everything else out. I will have enough gold to buy out everything, I'm pretty sure. So that's nice. And yeah, before you do that, we need to trade. And you can take these guys back. For the time being. And let's just have... oh. Well, they're not very confident in their abilities. Once again, I'm going to use Dragon Slayer. And I'm going to do this, of course. No! What are you doing? This game is so weird with that. Yeah, that's because by saying attack up from this hex, it tries to position the back hex here and it fails. So instead it goes to whatever other place it can go. Yeah, I might want to reload this, depending on how it goes. Definitely want to reload this. to stay here. Well, yeah. My dragon can stay here, so you can stay there. Yep, now it works. Finally. Definitely don't want to stay there, so instead go here. No morale this time. Yes, excellent. So I can... 
Has Dragon Slayer on my rocks. Yes, excellent. However, I cannot do this because that might end poorly. So just do that. Well, first, more Dragon Slayer. Yes, very good. Well... Now I have a bit of a choice. Either I stop the unicorns from attacking, or I stop the veteran pikemen from attacking. And the veteran pikemen only take up one hex, so it's better to do that. Oh! Well, I didn't even need to worry about that. So that's much better. And yes, go up. And you need to follow. And there, now I can get... The genies. Probably not going to use them, but they might still come in handy. Okay, so the trading post it is. Trade all the mercury. I will not need any of it. Trade all the jumps. Right, all the crystal. And the silver I will need a bit. I won't need any ore. We'll need a bit of wood. So I'll trade only 15 of that. And I'll trade only like 35 of that. That's still pretty good. Probably a town here. And yeah, my secondary hero is not fast enough to catch up. But that's okay. Hmm, or. Well, that's good and all, but I rather want to get another town so I could get more gold. And that statesman's quill is in the way. Oh, more dwarves, of all things. And is there a hill fort anywhere? No. Well, I don't see one. But now, I should be able to get all the Bell Dwarves. And all the Druids. And all the Grand Elves. I don't need to bother with the unicorns. Hmm. If I go up now, I will... I'll get regular elves, which I will need to upgrade. But I do have some slots. Now the question is, are there any more dwarves over here? And the answer is no. Hmm. There are some druids, but I don't think they will be very keen to join me. 
So let's just go like this. Yeah, all right. That's a bag of gold. I want that. It's day six, so I can just take it. You guys are mad. But okay. Sure. Whatever you like. Two for the price of one. And... Uh, I guess I'll take scouting. Oh, Garby Crusader, whatever shall I do? Purse of gold, 500 gold per day. Very, very useful. Okay, now you can just take all the gold. Fairy can probably also take down these veteran pikemen. Probably. Another thing I wonder is how this game transfers over the troops, from where? Because we... We got Atlas, who was our default hero, oddly enough, because... Generally, I, th I would assume that they have some special hero which they take the troops from. So if it's Atlas, then in theory I could send a secondary hero to fight whoever is in here, Sir Gallant. And save one day and also keep my actual troops that I want to carry over secure. While the secondary hero does all the hard work. But I hope then that the secondary hero won't be the one that will carry the troops over. But that's not that difficult to test, so I can just do that. Um, another thing is that I might want to get a marketplace in any case. Yeah. Because I will have some extra resources by the end of this anyway. Yes, that's a lot of enemy troops, and they even have a captain. Well, let's see what I can do. Hmm. Oh, I have a power of three now. So, something like steel skin would be useful. What do I want to not lose? It's basically just the rocks. Everything else I won't actually be using. So, that's pretty easy. Good choice. Hmm. Yeah, might as well stop here. Rude. Very 
Nice. And I can also take out these halflings. Well, you know, the best option is to take out this, this singular Archmage. Ow, oh, rude, again. And now, simply do this. Yep, yeah, that's not too bad. And with that, I can get a whole lot more rocks. That is a lot of rocks. And yeah, we do have some spells. And nothing else is of interest. And the Archmage are pretty good, but we already have quite a bit of troops. And I won't have access to them the next town. Well, actually I might, but I will need to upgrade them. In the last town I won't have them at all. Whereas the elves are available in all three towns. So, yeah, I think it's better if I use elves, especially since they also fire twice. And I do want to go to other towns to get even more rocks. And yeah, generally speaking, I can just stay with this army for some time. I'd like to get this ore mine so I could get some extra gold, but at the same time I don't really want to risk losing these guys. Well, I can try. They're pretty fast, but my gargoyle should be able to stop them. Especially if I do this. Yeah, generally I don't want to fight the stronger ones. Because I want to minimize the retaliation. Excellent. Mm. We can use Curse. These guys, because I will take out one of these. Yep. Logistics. And yes, you can go to this gazebo. Hopefully also learn logistics, or perhaps more wisdom. Okay, 
That's pretty nice. Week of the dog. Hmm. I think the enemies are somewhere up there. Oh, the next towns are somewhere up there. Yeah, and these guys really don't value their lives. And their average... So, just down there. all ogre. There we go. Now, can I get to this town, please? Halmar. <laughs> Gold, more ore. Dwarves I would also like to have. But they will slow me down even further. Uh, it's probably not even worth bothering with that. I do have more rocks here now. Yeah, five more of them. I'm still not sure if troops grow in towns even while I'm not controlling them. Hmm. Oh, there's Hillfort right there. Yeah, then I should take the dwarves. Oh, there's a pack of Queen Dragons guarding a ballista or something. No thanks. Okay, so take it. And the sprites are not going to be that useful because they're average. so far. Oh, great. There are dwarves in the way. Hmm. Well, in that case, I will be going back through here anyway. So I'll just let my secondary hero take these dwarves. Again, what is up with them not valuing their lives? Like, really, come on. They're very fast, too, so I cannot really do much to stop them from attacking me. Can I? They're ultra fast, and they're just very fast, so they will not be able to get to me. 
they will be one step away. So maybe that's not all that bad. I don't have any spell points left. I'll have to... Uh, see if there are any... Any magical wells around. Ah, nice. It's right there, of course. So I can just go up. And these resources are not super useful. I just need gold. Here we are. 46 dwarves. Excellent. And 34 elves. Yeah, that's nice. So now we just need to get back here. Depending on how much time I have, get back here to get more druids, elves, and dwarves, or just go back here to get the rest. It's week two, day four. I think I have enough time, but yeah, that will be all for now. And I will see you all next time, once we get closer to the end of this scenario, and get a hilariously big army. See you all then, later.